It's very common and traditional for fifth graders around Halloween time to want to make paper chains to decorate their classrooms and this year that Halloween decorating turned into something big and giant and that we probably couldn't have imagined that brought both parts of our school together. On Halloween people wanted to make a paper chain and I wanted to make a second one because um, one's better than two. Students started being interested in seeing how long they can make a paper chain and seeing how long, you know, how long the hallway was, or how long would it be if it went down the block. And then we eventually got to a point where we thought about this idea of making a paper chain that was as long as the distance from the historic campus to the ESH campus. The buddies came over one day to help us make more chains and they had laid it all in the lobby because they had a walking meter stick. So they had been measuring every time they walked here how far it was. Then they had to measure each loop they had. Then they had to measure our loop. They did the math to make sure we were going to have enough room to go from door to door. We had two people who knew what, who knew what the plan was on towards ESH. Um, Me, Alex, and Kai were on had the other all side. Were and then sometimes like we would get a walkie-talkie like, or we someone would say, like, we need staples. So, then a more I other ran, person would run, run all, all the way back to someone who made staples. Get more staples! Because they stay together and the tape doesn't really. Most of the places it broke was when it was tape. So our children didn't know how to staple, so we used tape. And when the fifth graders came over to help and we were laying it out, the tape kept coming undone. And they kept giving us looks like, really? Staples really are the way to go. I said, so teach them how to staple. So they did. And unfortunately, now we have four broken staplers. <laughs> and we need to get new ones. <laughs> and these students deserve a lot of recognition as their teachers for really a cool, cool project that shows how we're one community. Yeah, I, I had a lot of fun. I think other people did too. I like it when it falls in the sky. magical moment where everything came together and our, our entire school was connected by this piece of paper that was built by you know 50 kids. And we also maybe learned a little bit more teamwork because it took like yeah. a lot, a lot. Um, the best thing I learned was that when you, when you do it by yourself, it's really, really hard, but when you do it with other people, it feels like you can do it faster.